We have a light. We have a scorpion collection. <laughs> Okay, it's me, the Inveterarian, and the wee man. Say hello, wee man. Yep. Uh, so we got ourselves. Okay, so we got ourselves uh, this uh, black light UV light. Uh, as we know, scorpions glow under UV light. So what we'll go do is have a look at them uh, glowing. Okay, dude. So we're going to have a little, little bit of information now uh, about what exactly is it that causes the scorpions to glow under the. Thanks, dude. Under the light. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it comes from a substance in the hyaline layer. Or hyaline, I'm not pretty sure how you pronounce it. Uh, which is a very thin layer on exoskeleton known as the cuticle. Yeah, that's daddy's notes because he forgets things easily. So he's, he's written himself some notes. Um, uh it doesn't actually glow until after the skeleton, the exoskeleton is hardened following a molt. So a freshly, dude, my glasses, right, this isn't going well. Okay, so a freshly molted uh, scorpion won't glow until the cuticle layer, the, the hyaline layer, has hardened uh, following the molt. Scientists, experts don't really know from the research I've done, um, what I've read, they don't know what causes this, whether the glow is then as a result of the hardening process or whether it's a layer that is sort of built up after the hardening process is complete. But either way, the scorpion won't glow uh, until it's hardened up. Uh, another little interesting fact is that the hyaline layer is very, 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 very durable. It's a very tough, thin layer of the exoskeleton. Even in thousand year old uh, fossils that have been discovered where the rest of the scorpion may have deteriorated, the uh, hyaline, hyaline, sorry for my pronunciation, uh, the cuticle <laughs> uh, remains and fossilized Dad. remains still glow under light so there's just a couple of wee tidbits uh i would probably try and remember more but my memory sucks and uh, i'll just end up gibbering on so let's go have a look at some glowing scorpions that's a pencil okay so i've turned off all the lights i do apologize for it being a bit dull and dreary but obviously we want to get the best uh, we can out here so this is the first enclosure we're going to be having a look in uh, that's an amazing bit of footage, well done. Uh, so if we have a wee, let's see if we can play a game of Scott the Scorpion. Oh, let's see if we could, no, can we play, oh, hello. Now, I think it's safe to say, that is quite a... I believe they, they glow under natural moonlight as well, but if we just stop a second. Okay, we'll pop the flash back on. There is a scorpion in all her beautiful glory. I'm not sure how this is going to look now that we've got the actual uh, flash on. You can see. Okay, so we're not going to linger on her for too long. Let's have a look at some of the others. Yes. Okay, so that was one of my large heterometrius uh, ones. Uh, I hope you could hear that hissing noise. That's a defensive uh, hiss that she produces. It's quite loud. Uh, I don't know if the camera picked that up properly. Now we're going to have a look at some of these uh, smaller ones, mostly adults. Uh, likes of these guys are buried deep. Lights reflecting off that. It's not great. Uh, but most of these guys uh, are buried deep into their burrows and I'm not going to disturb them for the sake of shining a uh, black light on them. Uh, so we'll leave it at that and let's have a look at some of the smaller ones which are much easier to eat. Let's have a look at some of the smaller ones which are much easier to get access to. This one is dual molt. It'd be quite interesting to see how it glows or how long it takes it to glow after it's molt. Again. Don't seem too keen on it, however. So obviously, I don't want to don't want to hassle them too much with it. It's not something I will do a lot of. I must admit. 
Okay, so here's a few more. I'm not going to loiter on them. Um, I want to have a wee discussion about this one at the end here. Um, but very quickly, just again, uh, we're just going to zoom over uh, these. That's the, your Scorpius. Uh, there's where my heterometrius is, and there's another Euscorpius. I have heard that overexposure to this kind of light can be harmful and can actually cause damage, which is another reason I won't be doing this very often. Uh, but it is quite amazing to see uh, to see how they glow. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to speak about this one on the end, fine, uh, just as the last thing. Okay, so this is the one I kind of want to just uh, sort of maybe get a wee bit of help, advice on. Uh, there we go, having a wee look at it glowing under the UV light. But that's kind of the end of the UV shining process. And I'm going to put a light on so we can actually have a proper look at this uh, scorpion. Okay, so this is my uh, wee bee uh, coriaceous scorpion. And just very recently... Uh, I've had the scorpion for some number of years now, and just very recently, if we uh, watch the movement of these legs as it tries to move about the place, I don't know if you can make that out, but it's, it's almost like the legs are disjointed and out of place, so when it tries to move, uh, it seems like the legs are sitting too high. I've never seen this on any of my scorpions before. It's been like this for... Um, Probably around a week now. Um, I've tipped its water dish on edge, which it needs filled up, uh, to allow easier access to water. I've increased humidity uh, around part of its its tank. Uh, it's always been kept dry and always done well. Um, so I'm just wondering, has anybody ever encountered this before? Is there anything I could perhaps do? Um, I don't see any signs of a molt having occurred anywhere. Um, there's certainly nothing to indicate uh, that it's, it's had a bad molt. I've not seen it look as though it's molt. Uh, but what I have seen is that this movement has become very uh, sluggish and difficult in uh, controlling its legs. Obviously, I don't want to disturb it too much. I don't want to pester it, but I do want you to perhaps try and understand uh, my concern with this one and uh, see these these legs not quite behaving the way they should. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of struggling to to move properly. Okay, so that was a quick look at the scorpions glowing under the, the black light, ultraviolet light. Um, yeah, it was just, as I say, I, I got it for next to nothing. What to show it off. It's not something I'm going to do a lot of, uh, but I did want to see how it looked because uh, I've never actually seen it with my own eye, only pictures of it. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I didn't disturb all the scorpions. I didn't. Most of them were smaller species that I'm growing into adulthood. Uh, a lot of the adults are down in their burrows slash hides and uh, I'm not going to disturb them for the sake of that. So anyway, that's that's us done. Any questions, comments, queries, do pop them in the comment section down below. Uh, be good, be kind, take care. Bye-bye for now. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, yeah, bye-bye.